also a great idea, Julia. Yes, there's a, there's a thing built in. Uh, might I might actually show you this inside Twitch. If I go and show you this, show you my video dashboard here, you can go to content. This is where your video producer, this is kind of the, the dark side of Twitch. This is uh, the stream that we're doing right now. This is one I've done yesterday. These are all the streams I've done. And uh, I can filter this down by past broadcasts or uploads. Uploading is also not possible with Twitch unless you're an affiliate. Or you can highlight things, or these are in expiring streams. So I haven't got any, but if anything is older than two months, it would be in the expiring category and then it would just, you know, auto get auto deleted. So um, a highlight is the thing that never goes away. So this has only happened yesterday. So if I wanted to keep that, I'd need to go and click highlight and then set an in point and an out point. And then the system does some processing and then the video is going to stay there forever. Um, if I wanted to send any of these things, be that a highlight or a uh, this, these are highlights here. I think this is a, an upload. These are highlights here. Uh, these things are... I, so I can't highlight them anymore because they're already highlights. And these things are live streams here. If I wanted to send this over to YouTube, I can just go and say either download the footage. I can do that within the two weeks that you have. Or you can highlight it from here. You can watch it. Or you can say export. And that's kind of cool. So export means send it to YouTube. And the way this works is if I click it, then I'm being... A uh, little dialog comes up, export to YouTube. You connect it once and then you can say, give it a title, give it a description, hit export and and then it just does this cloud to cloud and then you know your video ends up on your youtube channel you can make it public or you can just keep it private until you're ready to tweak descriptions and thumbnails and all that and that's that so you can do that as well it's very good very good point julia haha <laughs> And of course, you can download them and then edit them yourself. And uh, let me show you the, the highlighter quickly. The highlighter is kind of cool with Twitch. You just click any of the videos that you want to highlight. And this is what it looks like. It's a little bit intimidating, i got to say. But you've got your watch window here with uh, also viewing options. So if you want to speed through your footage, you can just watch in double time. And then these are the highlights that you're making. So if a two-hour stream, you had like five good moments that were around two to five minutes long, then you would go and find the beginning of that moment. Let's say it's here. And then, well, let's say, you know, let's go into the actual footage. And let's say this is the beginning of my footage. I'll go and right click this or left click this and say start segment here. And then I'll say, great, this is where that ended. So you can, you know, set this um, properly. And then you say start uh, end segment here. And then this is the actual highlight that you're going to make. You can also take things out in the middle and then just, you know, have one bit at the beginning, one bit at the end. It's kind of collapse that into one highlight. So this could be one highlight. And then you give it a title, you say add new highlight up here. And then that makes a second highlight that starts where you've ended the first one. And you say, great, this is like my next highlight. Or maybe the second highlight starts here. And you say start segment here and then maybe end the segment here. And if I'm thinking there was actually this bit was bad, but then from here to here, that's another thing that's related to that. I believe I can go and split the segment here. I think that's how that works. Okay, is that how it works? No, it doesn't. That's not how it works. <laughs> so let's say, okay, fine. Let's say, let's say this is the end end, end segment here. And I'm thinking like this bit was good. This bit was bad, but from here to there, that was good. I think this is how I do it. I go and click this and say split segment here. Then we have one segment at the beginning. And then the second segment may start here. <clears throat> may start here. There we go. Then if this is my highlight, then I have footage here, gap, and footage there, and then that's that. And I can go and say add new highlight to make a third one, or I can just go and say publish highlights, and then this dialog comes up that says, okay, your first highlight, what's it called? I'm gonna go and process this now, give it a description, and you say, good stuff, save and next. It's at the bottom right here, save and next. And you click that and now we're going into the kind of a similar dialogue for the second highlight that you give a you know that you give a description save and next and then it goes and processes these highlights and these will not disappear from the channel that's how that works i hope this was helpful <laughs> i might turn this into a little clip you know so that people who want to use the editor that's kind of my jay's quick tour for the to the twitch editor there 